It was a Tuesday. Trash day. They picked it up like clockwork. Rain or shine. Today it was rain. Received a package. The return address said New Orleans. The city where summer was like an obscene phone call from nature. But there's an incomplete part of you that gets repaired or found when you visit the city. Down in the French Quarter, that's where you'll find a corner boutique called Papier Plume. That's French for paper and pen. It's like those French have a different word for everything. They're selling a new limited edition Mystery Ink. You'll find out what it is when you receive it. I typically don't like surprises, but this was a keen idea. Simple enough box. Inside was a bottle of ink called number 13. 13's a bad luck number where I come from. Not looking for a jinx, but I hope that that's not a bad omen for this ink. 30 milliliters, limited edition it said. Putting the clues together, since Papier Plume has been around for 13 years, I figure this is something to celebrate that anniversary. The label had some pictures of some of their other limited edition inks over the years. The wax seal on top of the bottle is a nice touch. The Fleur de Lis is another little New Orleans calling card. The ink has a nice shade to it, fairly saturated. It reminds me of this ink from Monteverde, and this other one from Pilot Orochizuku. I used Rhodia 80 gram paper. Figured that an ink from a company with a French name needed some French paper. I inked up my trusty Montblanc 149, a classy pen for this classy ink. And being named after a French mountain kind of fit the theme. I wiped off the nib with a tissue. I could afford a blemish on my character, but not on my clothes. I found the ghosting and bleed to be low, and the shade to be medium, and the sheen to be pretty non-existent. The quick brown fox. Rather cliche, but it gets the job done. find the flow to be medium. The ink applies a little wet, but between 15 and 30 seconds, you're golden. I performed a water test and then did some chromatography. The ink creeped up the strip like a teenager sneaking into the house after curfew. The ink handles water like I performed in school. Less than admirable. But this ink doesn't claim to be waterproof. This is a decent ink. It has the looks and the shading in all the right places. It's like a deck with six aces. Just ten bucks. A couple of fins. Not a bad deal. Seems like a safe bet. I don't like gambling very much. Don't like being at the mercy of those little white squares that roll around and decide whether you win or lose. I like to have the say so myself. But if I received this ink as a surprise, I'd be pleased. <laughs>